up y'all welcome back to my channel so today I'm doing a install using the most popular install methods on YouTube that I've seen um, so it's just gonna be like a mixture of different methods that I've seen um, today but this is what I am looking like period the wig itself is from superb wigs um, this is the box that the hair actually came in um, the thing I want to mention about this wig before we actually get into the video um, is that it is Swiss lace. So with Swiss lace, Swiss lace it's pretty much like invisible. It's better than transparent. It's better than brown lace. It's better than all of that. Period. And this is an undetectable knot slash lace wig. So with that being said, that means that when this wig was created they only put about one to two hairs onto each knot making the knots really small and very undetectable clearly and it also makes it very easy for you to bleach the knots and very easy for you to pluck the wig so i plucked it a little teeny bit i didn't do a lot um but as far as bleaching i bleached it and they bleached in like 10 minutes and i had to hurry up and rinse it off before i over bleached the knots um but yeah i basically just bleached the knots i plucked a little bit because the wig was already pre-plucked um and then what lace period the lace is right here I'm pretty sure y'all can't even see it and that's how it's done sweetie clearly with the methods that I used um, side note I think I definitely like just found the key to all installs using like got to be or I mean not got to be using like ghost bond and all those strong types of glues I think I found the key period okay so I'm like super excited about this and then this hair is just bang like I didn't even have to do anything to it I literally washed it after I bleached the knots and that was it I haven't touched it ever since I just kind of sprayed some water on it to make it a little bit bigger and brush it out a little bit um I'm definitely loving the look it's still very defined but like big and y'all know me I love big hair and you know the install was banging when I didn't even do a lot of baby hairs because I just can't help myself I only put two little baby hairs and I ain't put nothing else but some quick info about the actual texture and wig that I have once again I said I have the Swiss lace pre-plucked hide lace hide knots curly lace wig that's a long name that's a that's about full but that's what we got here today so like I said this is the curly texture and I got the medium size cap which means it's like 21.5 um, and my circumference is 22 usually a medium is like 21.5 to 22 so that's perfect and then large would be 22.5 to 23 I actually have on a full lace wig so this could be parted anywhere done any type of way up down around and around the corner um and then i have um this is just 16 inches and i love the length because it's like right on my shoulders it's like the perfect length it don't be in a way you ain't finna sit back on it when you're in the car that's one thing i hate the most like when i'm trying to sit back or i'm trying to put on my seat belt my hair be twisted in the seat belt and all that stuff um but yeah i'm chatting at this point um i will leave all the links for the hair in the description box um if you do purchase and you want money off of your purchase make sure you use the discount code lexus that'll get you some little some little change off period gotta look out for my people um but if you're very if you're interested in seeing how this this happened here this beauty period um clearly i'm hyped but if y'all want to see how this beauty happened right here just stay tuned and keep watching i know i'm looking busted but i plucked the wig just a little bit not a lot um you can always go back and pluck some more um but not today all right so this is what the inside the inside construction is actually looking like it is a full lace so there's lace all around there were um i did remove these little parts in the in the inside of the wig where you can attach the um 
adjustable strap and remove and take it off. Um, I personally don't ever use those, so I just cut them off. All right, y'all. So, um, first starting off, everybody glues their wig cap down, which I absolutely hate doing. I'm going to do it, though, but I'm not going to do it all the way around because I just don't like the way it sits on my sideburns because it always ends up being... Um, longer than my sideburns and then it just looks stupid and I'm gonna have to cut it down and all that so I'm gonna glue it down using got to be glued so I'm gonna glue it down to probably like right below my temples Okay, so I'm tired of waiting, so I'm gonna cut it. See what it's talking about. I guess you're supposed to cut it to fit your hairline. I guess that would make more sense. Um, so, and like I said, I'm not doing the sideburn, so I'm gonna just skip right over that and cut the rest of the cap off or that band and let it just go behind my ear. And Cause trying to attach it to my sideburns is just a literal waste of time. My sideburns are like my worst enemy when it comes to, to laying my wig down. What? Oh, ow. Definitely just snipped my forehead a little bit. Be careful, guys. Okay. So, cut the little extras off. Once I do that. I'm gonna take my comb, I'm gonna put some more got to be glued on here. Just a little bit. And then blow dry it so it's smooth. I think this is as good as it's gonna get. <sighs> and now, the moment of truth. Today I'm gonna be using um, Ghost Bond. Y'all seen me try to use this before. Didn't work really work out the best, but we gonna try it again today. We're gonna grab the scissors and we're gonna cut the lace like so so we'll have three flaps connected like that now we're gonna make sure everything is even again Of course, I'm gonna brush them edges back. Just wanna make sure it's gonna be covered. Okay, so we're gonna lay a thin layer of the ghost bond. Oh, wow, messing up already. 
lay it across. I set a thin layer that is not thin. Now I'm gonna take this brush I have that is for like color um, that I use a lot for when I'm like bleaching knots and stuff. And I'm using this to brush that glue smooth. Okay, now blow dry until it's clear. It's pretty clear and I'm pretty nervous. All right, let me move my mirror closer. Now, I'm gonna proceed to pull the lace down into that glue, lay it and then take my comb and comb through the hair but like push down so I'm kind of like pushing the lace into the glue well not kind of but I am like so okay now I'm going to take my little razor and I'm going to use this to cut the extra to cut the extra lace off of this section. And these are good because they make the little jagged edges. So definitely helps it look a little bit more natural. All right, so this is what we're looking for for the first section. Actually, it doesn't look bad, and that's with lays, baby. Wow, okay. Period. Now, I'm going to dip and dab into my edge control real quick and just use that to kind of brush back my sideburns because they long as heck and always in the way. So, I'm going to do this side first. And we're gonna do the same thing. Y'all, I don't wanna speak too soon, but I might just found a new install method. Pull this down, make sure everything is measured, and then apply. I think my main um, problem with these methods with the serious glue also the reason why i didn't like them was because i didn't i didn't like how it still kind of had like a white cast on it and using this brush definitely is helping so if you guys do have issues with applying lace glue definitely try out the brush method Right now, I'm going for it. Okay. Blow dry. All 
All right. So I kind of want to apply some more to the sideburns, but because like this sideburn is just a little bit too short. My edges is hanging out just a little bit, but we probably can finesse it with some baby hairs. Um, so the next sector to this method, um, we're gonna take some got to be right, and there's like a little, like a couple little frilly edges here and there. I'm not sure if you guys can see them, um, that are sticking up just a little bit, but to like make it super, super melt. Take the got to be glue. We're gonna spray the edges of everything we just laid down. If my got to be glue would stop spraying my eye instead of my wig, that would be great. Try to work quickly. And definitely don't want it dripping on my face. Oh, gotta hurry up, gotta hurry up. Take this wrap and lay it down. Let it sit for a couple minutes. All right, so I wrapped it and now I'm gonna put this little satin scarf, this little satin scarf over top. I'm gonna get dressed for church and then I'm gonna come back. Okay guys, I'm back. I'm dressed and I'm scared to see what's gonna be under this scarf. Oh, okay. Just take this little towel to wipe off this little extra got to be on my forehead. Really, this way could be worn just with no baby hair. <laughs> but y'all know me. Can't live without them. So, just trying to flatten up this part a little bit. I feel like this big look is pretty cute though. Like it's previously defined from um, when I washed it, but these curls are pretty too. I think I'm gonna just add a little bit of water to these front pieces because they're a little frizzy. I definitely don't want it to fall into my face. I know that much. Still got some hair coming out from when I tweezed it last night. This is cute. I like to like um, do the hot comb, but then I don't like when like it makes the root straight like on a curly wig. So I'm just like spraying some water in there. So it's looking kind of like wave back up a little bit. Bring the texture back. Last but not least, you already know that I'm using my Pantene foam, absolute fave. And I'm just gonna grab some hairs.
much y'all so honestly I feel like I shouldn't even bother with it anymore because it looks so good and then if I keep messing with it I'm gonna mess it up I probably fix these baby hairs a little bit more but other than that banging period okay so quick recap um I glued down the wig cap with God to me I cut the lace into three sections I applied the middle the side and then the side and I used ghost bond and I use this oh I use this brush to smooth down the glue and I feel like that was the key to everything and then I sprayed the got to be again on top of that laid it down with a scarf left it on for about 10 minutes took it off and this is what we are left with okay okay period poo um but if you guys enjoyed this video and if you guys want me to try any other youtube trends or any other install methods that you guys have seen on youtube before um but you want to see me try let me know in the comment section um i'll leave all the hair links and all that stuff in the description box this hair is bang period i'm loving it um but i hope you guys enjoyed and i will see you guys in the next one Mwah.